and we political commentator Tucker Carlson and podcaster Joe Rogan engaged in a three-hour interview in which they discuss a plethora of topics such as UFOs, evolution, the atomic bomb, and much more. It's no secret that both Carlson and Rogan have been met with criticism for some of their opinions expressed throughout their careers, but in this video, I want to spend some time reacting to the short clip within the interview where they both talked about aliens and UFOs and how the book of Ezekiel mentions these strange phenomenons. Please note that if you like to watch the interview in its entirety, I've included the link in the description below. So let's get into intellects and scholars believe that Ezekiel is describing aliens or UFOs when he mentions a will within a will. Now the Bible is full of imagery and Ezekiel at this specific time is describing the glory and wonder and awe of Almighty God. Describing the splendor and the revelation that he saw as you know, magnificent creatures things that he's never seen before in his human mind. So imagery, imagery is throughout the entire Bible, especially in the book of Revelation. Specifically, Ezekiel is expressing his awe and wonder and, and falling on his face, revealing the glory of God. So no, it's not about the aliens that he saw. It's about the unfathomable imagery that he put forth of describing God in all his wonder. For myself and other believers, there's a supernatural element to every aspect of life. The reason being is because God Almighty is supreme. He rules and reigns throughout the earth and is a supernatural being. Having said this, there's no specific mention of aliens in the Bible. Aliens can be defined as a person-like living being from some place other than earth. Humans tend to put too much unnecessary energy into aliens and UFOs rather than putting their trust and belief in our creator who spoke the entire world into existence. Yes, I do believe that there are unidentified flying objects because a lot of things on earth that people have seen with human eyes have not been identified. So in that regard, you're correct. The Bible says nothing about the existence of life beyond our planet or in other solar systems. Scripture speaks of God creating our home planet Earth, but doesn't explicitly say he did not create other life somewhere else. In theory, God could have designed other life, even intelligent life, even other image bearers of God. This can be found in Genesis 1:27, elsewhere in the universe. But the Bible makes no reference to any such thing one way or the other. Now, some commentaries point to scripture's silence as proof that aliens do not exist. Others note that the Bible often omits topics irrelevant to our relationship with God. This can be found in John 21, 25. Perhaps the only near universal conclusion among Bible scholars is that human contact with intelligent alien life is extremely unlikely. Now, that's to say, the question of alien life is probably irrelevant to human beings. It's irrelevant, it's irrelevant to me. Even if fully intelligent alien life were proven real, scripture's truth would not be threatened because God is all knowing, he's all powerful, and he holds the world in the palm of his mighty hand. Such a discovery would certainly create difficult questions, of course, we all have questions. We all wonder about things that we don't know. What it would not imply is that the Bible is false or that God does not exist. Many people say that the Bible is full of, uh, many say that the Bible is full of contradictions. And my question or answer to you is, show me those contradictions. Some interpretations and perhaps even some secondary doctrines would be disrupted. For sure. Yet discovering aliens would most likely would, would mostly reinforce the idea that mankind knows very little compared to God. I'm actually reading the book of Job now, and I encourage you to read it. You can find more of this in Job 38. 
Now, our God is an awesome God and holds the power of the world in his hands. Like I mentioned several, like I've mentioned several times, not just in this, not just in this, not just in this video, but throughout my entire channel. No matter how intellectual one may think he is, nothing compares to the supreme knowledge of God. So I'm never going to fall into the conspiracy theory trap. It's just not going to happen. Of course, I do believe that the government has withheld top level secrets since the beginning of this country, but I could care less because when it's all said and done, every knee will bow and tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let me know your thoughts on this and know that God truly loves you unconditionally. Now, of course, Joe Rogan. Now, of course, Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson, they have a huge following. And no matter what they say, millions of people are going to believe them. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to believe them. I want you to read the Bible for yourself. I want you to know God for yourself and have a true relationship with them. Because we can listen to podcasts, YouTube videos all day long. But until we dig deep into the scriptures for ourselves and ask God into our heart and ask the Holy Spirit to convict us of what we're reading, so on and so forth, we will continue to be swayed by the masses. And I don't want that for yourself. So I encourage you to read the Holy Word for yourself. Now, having said that, always strive to remain set apart. Take care. God loves you. We'll talk soon.